Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we are hunting through looking for commemoratives. Ones with more than face value but ideally looking to complete the book. There's a link in the description to the books I use if you want to pick them up. It is an affiliate link so I do get a bit of commission if you do make a purchase just so you are aware. We need three commemorative £2 coins now. We need Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland. The last three uh, that are out there that we can find which should make very nice finds. Anything after the Great Fire of London would also be nice. There's some coins that have been minted for circulation, some possibly. Um, talking about possibly being the 2023 definitive because we don't know for sure if they were or weren't but um, no they haven't been turning up for many many years so they would make very cool finds but let's get into the bag and see what we get what we get okay then whoops into bag number one so that's the definitive technologies design that was the definitive up to and including 2015. Some are lower minted years than others, just not low enough that I think that they're worth uh, looking out for. But well, there's our first commemorative, the Army Centenary. So on this one we'll check for the rotation error, which this one doesn't have, and the edge inscription for king and country, that's how it should be. I will be checking through all the other coins for any rotation errors, edge inscription errors, double dies, um, at the end of the video. First, um, for, for the sake of what you're going to see, we're just going to be whizzing through them, looking for the commemoratives. But uh, don't worry, I will check for all the uh, errors that may be out there before the end of the video but um, no we've, we're having a, a bit of a, a healthy release schedule at the moment healthy for the Royal Mint's coffers not so much for mine um, there is a lot of coins coming out in a very short space of time which uh, I, I always think I would love to know how they decide the sort of release schedule uh, do they is there much thought in for those of us who buy lots of different coins each year, is there thoughts of maybe we should spread them out a little bit more evenly throughout the year? Or no, let's just raid Christopher's bank account all in one big hit. Um, another army centenary there, no rotation error, no edge inscription error, that's all fine. Um, oh, then we've got the Brunel portrait. Very nice, but very common. One or two Brunel coins you can find out there. But the big release has been the first of the new Star Wars 50Ps and the Harry Potter 50P for this year as well. Obviously they came out in other denominations on the ounce coins, the silver and gold. Um, I must admit, oh there we go, abolition of the slave trade, again very very common. Um, I like this latest Harry Potter and the latest Star Wars more than the originals from last year and the year before. I think the Star Wars vehicles look very very cool with and without colour and uh, the Harry Potter one as well. I think it's a really nice design. I must have when it came out in Royal Proclamation it was going to be Harry Potter and the, the flying key. I thought what is that really does that really evoke Harry Potter as much as say some of the other designs that they could have chosen but uh, I think it's a really smart design. This one's been a bit scratched out in circulation unfortunately but it's fine because it's a very common coin. But uh, no, oh, there's another commemorative, VE Day Anniversary. Again, very common, the most common circulating commemorative £2 coin out there. But uh, yeah, with, with those coins, um, it seems, and I haven't actually seen any um, cast iron confirmation, but they will be NIFC coins, so not intended for circulation, just available for collectors to purchase, which I know some people are getting more and more aggrieved about, or have been since sort of 2018 when it started becoming a real issue. But uh, so many coins aren't being put in circulation. And there's another abolition of the slave trade. But, um, so yeah, I echo those thoughts. That, uh, oops. Obviously, I I love hunting through coins, finding commemorative coins. When there's a new coin that comes out into circulation, whether it's a common coin or an uncommon coin, it's always exciting finding the first one. The um, 2023 new definitive uh, Atlantic Salmon 50p is the most recent example of a newly circulated design that was my first one that I found in circulation. Um, and so that's always very exciting, even if you rewind back to 2017 when the 2017 Beatrix Potters all started coming out. Um, 
they were still very exciting to find even though nowadays we know that they are some of the most highly minted commemorative 50ps out there and you just think oh well next coin there is a point when it's the first time you find them and even if they become the most common coins in circulation it's still really exciting to see them for that first time uh, similarly when the first coins of king charles the third's portrait came out they were quite exciting because it's a big historic moment the first time we're finding a new monarch on our coins for a long long time rugby world cup there again very very common but no i, I do th as well feel and i know i've griped about this a little bit recently um it is death by 140th ounce gold coins they are the very small little gold dots uh, smaller than my little fingernail um that the raw mint seem to, to uh, be minting on mass this year last year there were two one for the king's 75th birthday and one for the king's coronation i thought oh these are really cool uh, because there's so much detail on this tiny little speck of a coin um it's a terrible buy if you're trying to invest in gold because you're paying so much over the value of the gold but as a piece of art or just an enjoyment of the the skills of the people at the Royal Mint to be able to put that small of a design or put that intricate design on such a small little canvas I think they are really really cool so I bought those two and then have lived to regret that purely because we had so many of them come out this year um, for, for all different denominations even the 50p designs I'm so glad that uh, the James Bond set and the um, dinosaur set and the Star Wars set don't seem to be including the 40th ounce gold coins and it made me think wow maybe they are selling really well and that's why they've decided to do the 40th ounce 1 40th of an ounce um, for all these designs as well but uh, they don't seem to be the biggest selling coins I must admit so I'm intrigued to see whether that will be continued for quite as long as uh, after the end of the year right we'll do an edge hunt we can do this on two pound coins because they have edge inscriptions unique to the designs if it says standing on the shoulders of giants we know that will be a definitive technologies um what does this one say oh something will turn up will be charles dickens couldn't quite work out make out the words then so he's very common any more for any more um think so I think the rest are all just going to be technologies this has not been the best hunt so far we've got a range of the common coins so at least we found some coins but we've only got five or six bags left to go without any obvious star find so far but it is just the way it, it works sometimes it's just probability whether you'll get exciting rare coins or not so exciting common coins this is the act of union again check for the rotation error which this one doesn't have again it's a very common coin not worth a huge amount of money Ooh, can't quite get my fingers around these nothing else in that lot so no it'd be interesting to see over whether these 1 40th of our ounce coins i think they would have worked better if they were a bit few and far between only like really special occasions there we go something over face value Charles Darwin. Uh, it's a weird one. It can, it can sell for a smidge over face value. You're talking like two pound fifty, all the way up to like five pounds. So it's a uh, again, it's, it's a small margin if you think if you're thinking about it as two pound fifty to five pounds. Doesn't seem like a huge variance, but for the purchase of a two pound coin, it's a bit odd. A bit like the Shakespeare's, they can go for a decent chunk or a smidge over its face value. Nothing in that cat in that. Um, handful right go on we've got to summon up something exciting we can't have charles darwin as our star find can we we've been saved by the last bag a few times in the past so you never know what might be lurking in one of the last bags that we open oh there we go 2016 judy clark's fifth and final portrait of the queen we know that will be something i reckon it's going to be a britannia that is the new definitive design. Well, it's not the new definitive design. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, replaced the technology design as the definitive. Um, but they're lower mint, so they're, they're not easy to come by. So they do garner a bit more than its face value. Oops. So welcome finds nonetheless. 
Right, penultimate bag. Should we do another edge hunt? Let's see if we can summon up something exciting with an edge hunt. Okay, what have we got? We've got the shoulders, standing shoulders. Uh, something will turn up again. Charles Dickens likes being found by his edge inscription, doesn't he? Uh, otherwise, standing giants, standing shoulders. Okay, I think that's all we're going to get. Nope. Right, last bag coming up. So, not the best hunt, but we found some commemoratives. That's all that matters. We've had some finds. Uh, and as my good friend Master Temple always likes to remind us, you've got to have the bad hunts to highlight how good the good hunts were. Um, now, there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. There's also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel. That's the company I work for as my day job, so please do check them out too. We wrap off with one more VE Day anniversary, so... Uh, pressure on finding some exciting errors so I'm just going to whiz through them now and see if we've got anything well then to quote one of my heroes Dean Martin ask and you'll be given bonus points in the comments if you if you know what song that's from 2015 technologies always worth checking because this one has a uh, quite a glaring rotation error it's very very cool obviously do check the BR for Bruce Russian who designed the coin should be at this point on the on the coin just make sure no one has managed to clamp it down and twist the coin therefore moving his initials uh, but reproducing the uh, rotation error so a very very nice coin to wrap off with nothing new for the book because there's so few things we still need for the book but i would pick these three as our star finds as ever let me know in the comments what your favorite coin from today's video has been and all it leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye